Hey guys, today I'll be showing you how to make some cool Lego guns. But before we start, I have to tell you something. On our channel, we don't just do Lego building videos, we do Connects building videos, Beyblade videos. We also have uh, over 850 videos, nearly 900. Um, we also have another channel, it's another channel, it's called Parser Tube Gaming. We do gaming videos such as Minecraft, Cop and Robber, Roblox, Balloons, TD Battles and Grand Pie Room. And we also have um, over 100 videos, so let's start. If you remember, um, if you're like one of my old subscribers that known me for like one or two years, you might remember a video where I made Lego weapons. I mean, yeah, Lego weapons. Um, and I'm, I'm going to build another one, but with different weapons because it seems like you guys liked it because in like a couple, uh, like maybe one year or a couple, like nine or 10 months, it's got one, um, 1 1.1 K views. So that's pretty good if you ask me. Uh, so let's start. The first gun we're going to make is a gun that um, is the least pieces needed to make it, which is this one. First you get one of these, there's only three pieces, you get one of these, and you get one of that, um, oh it's four pieces, silly me, uh, that blue piece, um, a minifigure's hand, of course um, some most of these use minifigures hands because they're pretty popular in using in making guns then you do that if you know my gaming channel um i mean you might know that this is like the pulse gun and cop and rubber i am um, that's the gun i made from the first gun made put there the second gun we're gonna make is my favorite weapon, well, my favorite light um, submachine gun. Uh, it's this one. Get this. Uh, you could already just use a gun like this, but it looks kind of ugly. So yeah. Um, let's put. Then we're gonna put this. We're just upgrading it a bit, and then two minifigure hands. I'm gonna put one here like that then one this way like that so next weapon we are moving on into one of the heaviest weapons you would ever find the rpg7 so we're going to get this pistol we're going to put backway backwards and we're going to put this here uh then we get this you put it on there, and then you get this. You put it there. You could, like, put the dome shape, but for me, this looks kind of cool because I've never used that design before. Uh, then you get this. You put the one with the hole on, onto here, like that. Um, then you put it in the hole so it'll be stronger than one of these. We're going to put it at the back. Here is our finished RPG-7. It's a really heavy weapon. But nearly every of my LEGO minifigures can't hold it, but the new Minecraft ones. Oh, and the Star Wars ones. And look, it balances quite perfectly. <coughs> That's the only weapon that I've got that actually balances, and it's the biggest one. Then we're going to go one that um, looks a bit strange. I'm gonna get this um, double barrel pistol. Looks pretty nice on its own. We get this too. We're gonna put out the top barrel like that. And we're gonna put this pin. It's from a very old Lego set. Uh, then we're gonna put into there. Like that. You could also put some other pieces in. Like, I mean, you don't technically have to put this. You could leave it like that. Or you could um, put where is it, uh, this on at the front. I also tried it. It looks pretty nice on it. But um, since I didn't, I, I wanted to use this because I haven't barely used this at all. 
Like I have used it, except not ma not in many videos. So I was like, I'm gonna give this uh, Lego set, I mean this Lego piece, a chance. So that's why I used it, and it also looks pretty better. And we're gonna get some skates, skates. I'm not sure what they're called, but yeah, uh, we're gonna put them on both sides like that. And we're gonna get another one like. That and here's the strange weapon that I was talking about. Of course, all of these are made by me, they're designed by me. Maybe some of them might be similar, but they're not technically. And mm -hmm. next, we're going to get this this Star Wars weapon, then we get this. And this tube like that, and then we get this piece that usually comes in the Mandalorian battle pack, which is the best way to get it because you get two and one extra. Are you gonna get this? Oh, I have to move the tube. Uh, then we're gonna place it there. Then it looks, and then um, we could also like take this off. Uh, and it looks pretty nice without it, but you know, it because it's for the video. I'll just place it on. Otherwise, usually I use it without it because I'm, I usually put it on my Mandalorian minifigures. Uh, so yeah, I'm just gonna place it back on again. Uh, so that's the next. That's the uh, next gun. Then we get the heavy machine gun, well, because it is a machine gun. It is the mighty. Everyone knows machine gun. <clears throat> That's not even a word. Um, I'm gonna put one of these at the bottom of that, like that. And here you can get one of these. You place it there with this on top, like that. And then you get one of these, you put it at the back. One of these, you put it one here, um, place one of these onto here like that, then you put this here, and I don't know where that came from but yeah we're finished. So this seems like it's like the only one that balances but actually this is the only one that balances. <laughs> and we have this one, I'm just going to place them like this, like that. Okay, these are all the weapons, um, I'm just going to place them like this, looks way neater, and then I like neat. There you go. Of course in the thumbnail of this video it looks way neater. <laughs> Oh, it seems like this is way neater. So guys, um, yeah. Hope you guys enjoyed it. So, make sure to leave a like. And yeah, so I hope you guys like it. Subscribe to see my videos. Bye guys.